This is Andrew for The Chosen Prime with a video review for Bad Cube's OTS 13 Warrior Piper, which is their take on a Mass style version of G1 pipes. Now it does use similar kind of overall styling and engineering as their uh, existing huff or their newer updated huff, but he's actually, Piper here is actually different in a lot of different ways than um, their version of Huffer. And we'll get to get some comparisons in a little bit, but here you can see the figure. He's just a little bit over five and a half inches here from the front to the back of the vehicle mode. He's actually a little bit longer than their newer huff. And again, we'll get to those comparisons in a little bit. And he's also a little bit heavier. So he's five and five eighths ounces. So he got the same die cast in his feet, but then he overall he's a bit heavier. Here you can see his box, standard um, styled box, like other bag cube releases it does come, you know, he does come packaged here in vehicle mode and a clamshell. As far as paperwork, you get a nice little instruction manual here to show off his different transformation. Um, from their huff, you get two collector's cards, and then far as other accessories, he, his main accessory he comes with is this little version of uh, Metroplex transformation cog with a little bit of clear plastic here, and it's his main accessory. And then overall, uh, pipes here or Piper has three face options overall, and we'll go through each one of them. By default, his uh, face with blue eyes is installed. There's an alternate one that has red eyes. And then you've got the version here, kind of the G1 toy that's got the visor. So you have options as far as uh, head options here for Piper. So let's go ahead and take a look at some closer up details here for their version of pipes. Take a closer look at Piper's vehicle mode here. You can see that his uh, truck mode here is a mix of the G1 toy as well as a more kind of updated, more realistic take on a small truck like this. Um, it is similar overall design and engineering to their uh, Masterpiece Huffer, um, Huff, but it actually is quite a bit different. Like you'll see that in a little bit with comparisons, how the sides of the vehicle, the bumper here on the front, the way that his uh, arms and everything kind of line up. So we just have the pipes here on the back, but you got some nice uh, kind of blue plastic here. This part here is painted blue to match, uh, the blue windshield, and you get a little bit details called out, bits of silver on the front, the lights, the bumpers different, as well as some lights here on the back of the vehicle. He does roll um, nice and smooth, pretty clean mode overall here. And again, quite a bit different than Huff when we get to transformation. He doesn't come with any additional uh, weapons to store in this mode, um, but he can uh, tow MP10 trailer just like Huff did. You, there's these two uh, tab slots here that we could take um, the Masterpiece uh, Optimus Prime trailer here and peg it in and just like their Huffer, he can uh, pull the trailer as well and again it's a very secure connection you have to really you know pull at it to remove it um, one little note about his uh, vehicle mode here is that the cab here really doesn't lock in into position and so one of the things you're going to want to do is pick it up when you're in vehicle mode you want to pick it up from the back here because pick it up from the front this part will kind of come forward now normally that's not a problem because you just, it'll stay like this but if you ever pick them up because of the transformation joint they'll kind of come loose and i can't i haven't found any place where this really locks into place to hold it down. Again, not a big concern, but something to note um, as you're messing with this figure. So let's go take a look at Piper's transformation into his robot mode. So the transformation for Piper here is a little bit different than Huff, but we start by unpegging the mirrors here from the canopy top. And we also wanna to come to these little white pegged um, pieces here that are hook pegged into the pipes on the sides here. We wanna unpeg them so that the entire front canopy here can slide forward. And you kind of want to do it without moving the arms if you, can, if you can avoid it. And so we bring up this piece with this unpeg. We can move this up and then those little white pegs that were pe holding the uh, pipes in place, we want to fold them inward. And then utilizing the ball joints on the mirrors here, we want to hinge them forward inward so they're kind of just uh, sitting here on the inside. I'm not in the exterior. And now we can close the canopy again. So we'll come to his backpack back here. Um, notice that there's two little tabs here that actually hold these arms in together. And then these arms here are double hinged. So you want to take the hinge here and move that part outward. And you just want to move them outward. And then to do the same thing for the arms here, we want to take the arms and move them to the sides. We're going to rotate the arm around so that the hollow part is kind of on the outside. And then hinge the pipe um, piece here backwards and spin the pipe so that it sits on his arm like that. So we're gonna do that on both sides. Rotate it so this is on the outside and then just hinge this piece backwards like so. 
and we can take the backpack here. And what we need to notice is that these little two feet pieces here, they have uh, peg holes here that match peg holes on his shoulders. And then similarly in the, um, on this uh, canopy here, there's these little tabs here that match tab slots on these actual little shoulder parts. So I recommend just taking the, uh, the little feet here and just pressing them down first, kind of locking <clears throat> this backpack in fully, and then come back around and uh, move, hinge those uh, shoulder pieces here back so that they are now locked into um, the backpack, fully securing the backpack onto his back like that. And for now we can go ahead and slide down and peg in his uh, wheels here onto the sides and we can focus on his legs. Come through these little side panels and we wanna move them outwards. And it's actually a really tight uh, peg joint here. So you kinda gotta be careful to lift up on this particular panel off of his uh, torso. It's a really strong tab here. And once you get one, the other one's kinda easy to kinda move these down. And again, utilizing the toe hitch piece here, kinda push away on this side to kinda split the legs, like so. And then we want to take these little toe hitches and move them to the side for now. So we can move the uh, foot piece and hinge it downwards. And do make note how this little tab piece here does fit up into the slot when you go to his robot mode. We want to take the little gray piece here and the, for the hitch and slide it inwards. Uh, pull this panel fully down and this will fit to the side, making a slightly different leg than uh, for Huff. So again, just make sure this is to the side. Hinge the heel forward, move the uh, toe hitch inwards, move this down, slide that over. Make sure to come to the heels of each side and stretch them out. And this is a matter of kind of getting him situated however you like. Make sure everything's pegged in. And here is pipes in his robot mode. So let's take a look at his details. Take a close look here at Piper. You can see it's a very Nice uh, rendition here of a masterpiece pipes. Um, the entire chest here, the head, the arms, etc. The way the pipes here fit on his arms are just scream uh, G1 pipes. Um, he does have the canopy of the back of the uh, truck here on his back, just like the G1 toy and kind of the cartoon. Um, doesn't collapse. Um, but then you can see here it was the die cast in his feet. He has like really no problem at all uh, standing with this weight. Um, so you know it, it's a little concession to kind of have it so that he's got the back of the cab sticking off it like that. But to me it doesn't bother too much and you can see he does have support there to kind of keep this entire piece there. It's not going to be uh, flopping around anywhere. And then you can see that his legs are slightly different than they were on Huff. Uh, whereas this is normally the front of Huff's legs, uh, they've done this piece with the wheels on the outside to kind of give you an alternate transformation uh, more akin to pipes here. As far as articulation, the head is on a nice ball joint here, so you can look up, look down, side to side, and tilt. Um, by default, these wheels can peg into the side here, kind of like the G1 cartoon, but they do unpeg and move out of the way if you need to move the arms. So the arms are on a, uh, a hinge here that can move up and down. Then the shoulder actually is a ball joint to move forward and back. He does have a bicep swivel. The uh, pipe part here is on a peg, so it can move and swivel as well but can normally just uh, be facing this way. The hands can rotate. Uh, the fingers are one separate piece. He can rotate a full uh, rotation at the waist. Similar hips, a nice stiff joint forward, back, into the side, upper thigh swivel. Um, there's die cast in his thighs here as well. Uh, nice stiff knee bend. And then the feet here are on a nice, uh, a pivot joint with that ball joint. So you can get some nice poses out of this version of pipes. You can see here that they uh, have a white piece here on the back of the Trek cab. And that homage is not only the G1 toy in a way, but some of the episodes of the G1 cartoon. It helps just kind of overall break up all the blue, black, and silver that are kind of present on pipes here. Of course, pipes, uh, Piper's main accessory that he comes with is the uh, cog, uh, the transformation cog for Metroplex. And you can uh, hold it. Um, with the uh, way his arms bend here, so you can uh, hold that cog, just like he did in that one uh, G1 episode. And then he does have uh, three uh, different face options in total. So by default, he's got the blue eyes here. Um, in the G1 cartoon, he had both blue and red eyes, depending on kind of when they decided to make the episode. 
And so by default, here's the blue that he comes pre-installed with. It's just a peg that the faces come off. So we can take it and we can peg in the uh, red-eyed version here to kind of give a little bit more variety into his colors overall and some versions of uh, pipes from the G1 cartoon. Or if you wanted to homage the, you know, the G1 toy a little bit better or even some of the comic appearances, he does come with a visored face here. We can peg on. And you know, it looks a little bit nicer. It shows off that uh, you have options as far as which face you'd like to use here for Piper in his robot mode. As far as posability options here for Piper, uh, just like uh, Huff with all the different you know, weight in his feet and his legs, you can get some pretty um, nice solid poses of this guy, even with this kind of large backpack on the back here, that we can bend and have him do some nice uh, kind of leaning poses that he can hold quite well. And again, you can move these, these wheels kind of in and out of the way. These uh, cannons here can be rotated around if you want to get a little bit different um, kind of posability options as far as uh, moving the pipes around. And just overall, he's got a nice range of movement overall, even though he's kind of this small, stocky little character with a big um, backpack. Pretty nice effort yet again from Bad Cube. Very solid release. An excellent version of Masterpiece Pipes here. So let's go ahead and take a look at his comparisons for Piper here. We'll start off a comparison with another version of Masterpiece Pipes. On the right here, we've got X Transbot Stacks. Do note that I've the previous owner of this figure customized it high, heavily. Um, all this paint detail as far as the silver, all this line detail, and even the white legs um, weren't present in the original retail figure. They were gray legs, no paint detail, just blue. So it was similar as far as detailing as the one on the left. But you can see that while this one is a nice version of pipes, this one on the left really looks like G1 pipes um, in comparison. They both have kind of their uh, giant backpacks in the back. You get a whole lot of extra kind of chrome on the uh, X Transbots release. This one is very loose, even after it's been tightened up. So, whereas this one's nice and stiff, nice and secure. And this one on the left actually is quite a bit heavier. So, you know, it, here you can kind of see how uh, two companies have kind of taken a stab at doing Masterpiece Pipes. But in my opinion, the back of one is just uh, leaps and bounds better than this original X Transbot release, even after all these customizations. And truck mode comparison between Piper and Stax. Here you can see where they are. Uh, quite a bit different in their vehicle modes. You do get all the chrome on the X Transbots effort and the black windshield. But just more cohesively, I like uh, Piper as pipes than I do uh, Stacks here. You see here that this is just loose because it just uses his leg joints for that. Even though this has got the part where it comes up, it doesn't feel anywhere near as loose or as kind of sloppy as uh, this original effort from uh, X Transbots. Um, Piper is quite a bit, a little bit longer than the other one. And just, you know, a little bit thinner, just overall, I think a little bit better uh, design overall. You don't have the separate pieces that come out as far as the pipes. And just to me, I, overall, uh, Piper is just a much better uh, masterpiece pipes uh, than Stacks here. Robo comparisons in between Huff and Piper. And you can see that even though they were similar truck modes, they have kind of vastly different uh, robot modes overall. Different chests, different ways that they do the cab. The wheels are present here on Piper, the arms. I mean, the legs are pretty much the only thing that share the same thing, and they're both reversed between the two of them. And here you can see how they look side by side. So, you know, even though they have the similar truck modes, they're, you know, vastly different here in their robot modes overall. And they look good um, side by side. It's nice to see these nice newer takes and updated takes of these G1 uh, Minibot truck characters. Vehicle mode comparisons. Again, you can kind of see how they're slightly different. Um, definitely more distinctly different here in the front of the vehicles where the bumper and kind of overall lights and front work. The way the uh, exhaust pipes here are different, how these are uh, Huff's arms, where uh, Piper's arms are kind of hidden, so these are just his little cannons. You can see the side of the vehicle is a little bit different where these panels that make the sides of uh, Huffer's legs here are missing. On Piper, the backs are essentially the same. But overall, you can see that they are slightly different, and just, just by a hair, um, Piper's is a little bit longer than their version of Huff. Roman milk comparisons for Piper with some other Masterpiece style minibots. Going right to left, we've got Masterpiece Bumblebee. We've got Bad Cube Slick, which is a version of MP uh, Swerve. We've got uh, Piper here as their pipes. We've got Fans Toy Spindrift, which is their version of Masterpiece Sea Spray. And then we've got DX9's uh, Richthofen, which is their Masterpiece Power Glide. 
And you can see here, you know, specifically with the bad key releases in Bumblebee here, where this version of pipes does match the kind of cartoon aesthetic um, set aside um, in the G1 cartoon and how well uh, Bad Cube has kind of given us a realized version of Masterpiece Pipes here. And just, you know, when you definitely see him next to other figures here like uh, like uh, Slick slash the Swerve, it, you see how well uh, Piper here really is a nice version of G1 uh, Masterpiece Pipes. Vehicle mode comparisons for the Minibots and Piper. You can see how, uh, just like Huff, he is slightly larger than the other Minibots. I'm um, overall like a Bad Cube's version of uh, Swerve and Masterpiece Bumblebee here. And you know, once more, it is kind of difficult to get a good vehicle mode scale here for these Minibots, considering they uh, need to have realistic uh, vehicle modes here, but then also be smaller bots than most other uh, uh, Masterpiece Transformers. But I think stylistically, I think this shows how well um, Piper here looks next to other uh, Masterpiece figures in their alternate modes. Comparing Piper here with only official Masterpiece Autobots, from left to right we've got MP10 Optimus Prime, the Golden Standard, we've got MP Ratchet, MP Sideswipe, we've got Piper here, and the Masterpiece Bumblebee. And you can see how Piper, in their version of Pipes, does stack up with official product here. He looks great just amongst these other official products. There's a nice, you know, mid-scale between the tiniest of mini-bots, but then smaller than their standard Autobot car. And stylistically, I think, just enough detail and cartoon um, stylings to make him look like he fits right alongside these other uh, Masterpiece Autobots. And alternate mode comparisons here, you can see how just like Huff Piper here, it kind of fits to be this nice uh, truck scale that's larger than the Minibot, like Bumblebee, but then matches the truck style and sizing of figures like MP10, so we can pull the trailer and match that kind of larger semi-truck um, size and design. Some final thoughts here for Bad Cube's OTS-13 Warrior Piper, or their take on a masterpiece styled version of G1 Pipes. Um, building off of what they learned with their Huff 2.0, their updated masterpiece Huffer, this version of Pipes um, is an excellent version of that G1 character done for Masterpiece Collections. He's different enough, but uh, unique enough and fun enough from uh, Huff to be his own uh, standalone figure. And they hit all the right notes as far as giving us this nice updated version of uh, G1 Pipes for our collections. And he's by far better than the existing uh, Masterpiece uh, Pipes available in the market, uh, uh, X Transbot stacks. So Pipes is currently here, Piper here is currently available from Chosen Prime if you'd like to add him to your collection or add Huff 2.0 to your collection. He does come recommended. This is another solid uh, Masterpiece Minibot from Bad Keeps to take care.